Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be doing a support gadgets guide. Get you familiar with each of the support gadgets, what they do, what they're capable of, and uh, what situations they're really good for. Now we're going to start off with the basics. This is the XM25. It can be loaded with three different types of rounds so far. And these are the smoke rounds. As you can see, they provide a decent amount of cover, but it dissipates pretty quickly. I suppose this is to prevent spamming of this weapon, but uh, it will give you a nice little smoke cloud briefly if you want to learn how to zero in this weapon click the link at the top of the video that'll take you to a different video of mine where i have previously explained how to aim this weapon as you can see here player shooting over a ledge uh, has the option to basically splash damage people hiding beneath that ledge. The splash itself does 35 damage, so you can three shot anybody, and if you hit them directly, it'll do 82 damage. So it is actually beneficial to hit somebody directly with this gun. Something that I didn't know is that smoke grenades actually do 32 damage. So if you're in a pinch and you got this weapon armed, you can take somebody down. It's gonna be tricky, but uh, it's gonna be certainly an embarrassing kill if you manage to pull it off. Now the last ammo type for this weapon is flechette, which essentially turns it into a very effective shotgun. This can easily one-shot people in close quarter combat. All right, let's move on to a gadget that I'm sure a lot of you are not familiar with. This is the MPAPS, which stands for Man Portable Active Protection System. This basically, once set up and has a green light going, will destroy any explosive projectiles coming in. Uh, and it has about a one to two meter effective radius. Once the light turns red, that means it is no longer active and it needs to uh, essentially recharge for a few seconds before it can defend against incoming explosives. This is an extremely situational gadget and I've yet to see it used really effectively in combat. It will not defend against grenades and it can be shot down fairly easily. I can see it being somewhat useful in Metro if you set it up in just the right situations. Another example of using this in a semi-effective manner is putting it next to say a stationary weapon like this to protect you against from incoming explosive ordnance. Here a javelin is being destroyed by it. It will take down all RPGs, all grenade launchers, even tank shells. Now a seasoned tank driver might know better to shoot the MPAPS with a machine gun if he has a machine gun rather than shooting directly at you with the explosive round first. As you can see here it actually blocked the explosive round and gave me enough time to take out the tank. Let's move on to a gadget that's a little more offensive in nature. This is the UCAV Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. You launch it like a mortar, it flies around, and it can one-shot an attack helicopter. Heavier vehicles like the Transport Heli, it won't necessarily one-shot, but I doubt many pilots will be able to recover from such an intense hit. Light armored vehicles like Jeeps don't stand a chance against this thing. It will destroy the vehicle and anybody inside of it. Tanks on the other hand will take 50 damage from this no matter what direction it comes from. Front or rear shot will do the same amount of damage and it means that a team of two support players with these can basically take out a tank without it really knowing what's about to happen. A really useful feature of the UCAV is the ability to detonate it in mid-air by simply hitting E if you're on PC or the eject key if you're playing on console. This will detonate in mid-air causing massive splash damage which is perfect for taking out infantry and jets. As for other heavily armored vehicles, MRABs will take 66 damage, so you can't one-shot them, and boats will take 37 damage, attack boats that is. So you can't necessarily one-shot either of those two vehicles, but a coordinated attack can certainly dish out a massive amount of damage. You only get one UCAV, but you can recharge it with the help of an ammo crate. It will just take a while. Now let's cover something basic, claymores. You either love these guys or you hate them. You love them if you're using them, you hate them if you're dying to them. You cannot sneak past these guys. You used to be able to in Battlefield 3, I'm not really sure why you can't anymore in Battlefield 4. You will die to one shot from these unless you have the flak jacket upgrade, which is only available for the defensive perk if you have level three or anti-tank perk if you have level four. Now moving on to one of the other support classes, many annoying gadgets, we have the remote mortar. Again, one of the things that's fun to get kills with, but extremely annoying to die from. Now if you're extremely close to the blast radius of this shell, or even get a direct hit, it will do 75 damage maximum, which is not bad considering that it has a volley of four that it can fire back to back. And that damage falloff seems to go out to around three or four meters. 
As for using it against vehicular targets, it's not going to be as effective. Here it's only really doing about 10, approximately 10 points of damage to the attack boat, sometimes even less. Uh, for tanks, again, it doesn't do a massive amount of damage, but it keeps them from getting too comfortable in one spot. If you start getting hit with mortars, you're definitely going to want to take off. And this, in conjunction with rocket attacks, could be very effective, especially once a vehicle gets a mobility hit. You can also direct shot helicopters and even splash damage helicopters. Now last thing on the gadgets list, and these aren't really gadgets, but the ammo pack and ammo boxes. If you're not familiar with the difference, ammo packs you can toss to teammates and it will basically cling on to them and restore their ammo while they're on the move. This is great if you like to play while you're running around and stuff or restore your ammo without hanging out in one spot for too long. The ammo box will restore your ammo in an area of effect so you can replenish three people, four people, five people's ammo at the exact same time as long as they're close to the ammo box. It will also replenish all of their rockets, all of their C4 grenades, uh, UCAVs, any sort of device like that. Uh, it'll just take a certain period of time depending on what it is. UCAVs can take the longest, but uh, if you're playing sort of a more campy style, it definitely helps to have an ammo box versus an ammo pack. So that pretty much wraps it up for the support gadgets video. I'm not covering C4 in this one because I think it's a little bit more of a recon gadget, and uh, I'll save that for a future recon gadgets video. So thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time this is level cap signing off